Previously, on Meerkat Manor, the Whiskers made a long trek to a new burrow. And with Flower's ongoing pregnancy, Mozart was facing eviction. Meet the Whiskers. Flower, the leader of the group, Zaphod, her dedicated partner, Yosarian, his troubled brother, Mozart, the wayward daughter, fearless grandson Mitch, the playful kids, and their ever-present enemy, the Lazuli. This is Meerkat Manor. Where the rolling sands of the Kalahari Desert turn into flatlands of scrub and bush, you'll find a busy family of meerkats called the Whiskers. This 40-strong gang ekes out a living in the dusty terrain that makes up their two-square-mile territory. What makes these meerkats unique is that they've been studied for more than 10 years by Cambridge University biologists. Flower is the dominant female. She wears a radio collar so that the gang can be tracked wherever they go. And with cameras strategically positioned around their surroundings, we've been filming every aspect of their complex social lives for more than a year, making them one of the most thoroughly researched groups of mammals on the planet. After getting through the long, dry winter, the spring rains can't come soon enough for the whiskers. It's been four weeks since the rains fell in the Kalahari, but there hasn't been any since. And that means food is very scarce. For one meerkat, this is just one of many worries. Bearing the scars of a brutal eviction, Mozart is all alone, kicked out from the whiskers by her mom, Flower. Without the protection of the rest of the group, she's going to find it hard to survive. And to make matters worse, she's also pregnant after her liaison with roving male, Sondheim. If she and her unborn pups are going to survive, she needs to get back into the gang. It's late afternoon, and the rest of the whiskers are still out foraging. Flower's pregnancy is probably the reason why she evicted her daughter, Mozart. This will be her second litter of the year, and with the impending birth, she's hungry and in an uncompromising mood. And Mozart isn't going to be the only one to feel Flower's wrath. The pups from Flower's first litter are more than two months old, and they're starting to sharpen their hunting skills. Mangoes found a giant millipede. But for Hungry Flower, her young pups are an easy target for an effort-free meal. Poor Mango doesn't have a chance of keeping her prized millipede. With Flower in this kind of mood, no one's safe. The 
Even dominant male Zaphod heeds her warning growls. He knows not to come between a pregnant female and her food. While Flower is pregnant, hungry, and in no mood for compromise, Mozart won't stand a prayer of getting back into the gang. And although her mom has the luxury of being able to steal food from other members of the group, Mozart has to find meager rations for herself. But it's difficult to look for food and keep an eye out for predators without the protection provided by the rest of the gang. It's an extremely stressful and unproductive time for Mozart. To make matters worse, the long-awaited rains are approaching. If the weather breaks this evening, Mozart will have to spend a cold and wet night without the warmth of her family. The strain of living alone could cost her her life. party are heading for home. They can see the storm approaching. The best thing now is to get to the refuge of the burrow as quickly as possible. of the Kalahari's inhabitants, the rains hold the promise of good food and easier times to come. But for one animal, the arrival of the rains isn't so welcome. Mozart is desperately trying to find enough food to sustain herself. But while she forages in the rain, she'll get wet and cold, and there'll be no one to keep her warm tonight. As the rains sweep across the dry scrub and bush of the Kalahari, the rest of the whiskers make a dash for the shelter of their burrow. The gang will be spending a cozy and warm night safe in each other's company. As they begin to huddle together, flower doesn't look herself. Her second litter of the year could well be born on this stormy night. In a bolt hole not far away, her own daughter Mozart will struggle to keep warm on her own. Early the next morning, the worst of the storms have retreated. It's cold and damp 
and Mozart's first up. She spent the freezing wet night alone. If her predicament continues, she and her unborn pups are unlikely to survive much longer. On a day that marks the end of hard times, Mozart's fate rests now more than ever with her mother, Flower.